Hi friends, thanks again for stopping by. In this video, I will show you how I made the sixth page of my album. I suggest to watch the video before preparing your pieces and working alone. Then you should cut and prepare all your pieces before starting your album. As usual, I already cut all my pieces. You can find the measurements in the description box down below. Grab your 6A flap, mind the corners and fold along the two score lines, just like me. You should get one and eight of inch gap. Then take your 6B and 6C pieces. I used my scissors and my all round frame to cut out my circle, which is four and a half inch wide. As you see, I cut off only the half part. I finished with scissors on the edges. Grab your 6A flap. Apply some glue to the dented side of the half inch flap. Line it up to the top edge and burnish it well. Be careful with the one and eight of inch part. Don't glue it down. You should mark two score lines to the piece of 6B, just like me. And again, you should get one and eight of inch gap. Now grab your 6D pieces and score it first at half inch, then three and half, six and half, nine and half. Flip it over. I mark it to show you the cut lines. From the third score line, I measure at five and eight of inch, five and eight, five and eight, five and eight, and five and eight from the top and the bottom as well. Try to don't cut to over your mark. As you can see, I cut not just one line, but I cut two, because a little bigger gap will be needed. I hope it makes sense what I say. I decorating only two part with scrapbook papers. It's not necessary to decorate all of them. After, when I glued it down, I flip it over. I cut out the tiny pieces. As you see, I cut it off the half inch flap. It's not necessary for this piece. When I decide which scrapbook paper I will use on the base page and on the flap, I will measure and cut it down and glue it down to the small piece of the pop-up piece. I will use the dark one on the base page and the lighter one on the flap. Now 
Now I can glue it down first to the base page when it's already in the place, in the right place. I burnish it well, then I put some glue on the top part, close the flap and burnish it well. So the pop-up piece is ready. Now it's the time before we finish the decorating part to apply some glue to the piece of 6B. Be careful with the one of 8 inch part. Don't glue it down. When it's on the right place, I burnish it well. And now I can apply my scrapbook paper. I also cut two tiny pieces of scrapbook paper. I will glue it down around the pop-up piece. Here I add the magnet first before I decorating the inside part. As you can see, I cut three times with two frames a brown cardstock. I will glue it together, these three pieces. With the same method, I also cut a navy blue scrapbook paper. This will be the top of my frame. First, decorate the piece of 6B because we need some background. First, just glue it down the three layers of brown frames. Now I try to decide where I want to put my free cut uh, planets, the astroneer, and so on. 
when I find the right place I glued it down and I will play with the sequence how much I like I just try to find the right pace and the harmony when I thought that was enough from the sequence I applied the glue around my frame and carefully I put it on my acetate and finally I glued the navy blue on it I hope it makes sense what I say so thanks for watching see you in the next time bye